Um, but yeah, torridcitychic.com. I do shop at Forever 21. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be 31 in March, so I feel some type of way about shopping at Forever 21. But sometimes, let me rephrase this. Most of the time when you buy from Forever 21, it's gonna be really inexpensive. And it's usually a situation that you get what you pay for. If I have something from um, Forever 21 that I really, really like, I will baby that thing like when I'm washing it. I will wash it in, on gentle cycles or I'll wash it by hand or I'll wear it as many times as I possibly can without washing it until I absolutely have to wash it and I'll be hella gentle with it because it's going to fall apart because it wasn't made very well. But every now and again, you hit on like a really good gem from Forever 21 um, plus size stuff. So, um, Ivan, if you don't quit trolling me, I'm going to just come through this computer and I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's not going to be good. Please stop. Um, but yeah, so sometimes you can find things on Forever 21 that are, that are good, but just be careful because a lot of their stuff is like super, super cheap. And like you might wear it the first time and then like there's a thread that's missing and that thread will get snagged on something. And before you know it, the very first time that you wear it, it's got holes in it and now you're mad. So just be careful with that. Another place that I like to shop, and this isn't so much for like something that I would wear on a cruise, but just like for work stuff is eloquii.com. That's E-L-O-Q-U-I-I. -I. What I love about Eloquii is they have really elegant tops that are like really professional looking and dresses and pants and jackets and suit jackets and suits for women. They used to be owned by, um, the limited and you can kind of still get the flavor of the offerings that you would see as a limited at Eloqua. You can kind of see their um, their like stamp on it on, on like the style of the clothes. It's very basic. It's very corporate, but it's not like cookie cutter corporate. They have some really fun stuff on there. They're expensive, but they almost always have some kind of sale going on where like when you plug in your discount code that's like published at the top of the site. Usually it's something like 40% off, like 90% of the time when you go on that website. So torrid.com. And once this video is like done and I, um, once this video is done, I will post the links in like the finished video, but it's torrid.com, City Chic Online. I do shop a little bit at Forever 21 and eloquy.com, but I'll mention those links. Um, make sure there's no other questions about that. But honestly, go to have fun and then just carry yourself like, you know what, I got this. I, I picked this outfit, like you guys are probably, if you're like me, you can have all the clothes in the world in your closet <laughs> like I do right now, but I'm still gonna go out and buy some special stuff for the cruise because I wanna be comfortable, but I also wanna be cute. So there's that. Ah, that's a good point. Shayla, thank you so much for that message. Swimsuits online. Yes, I can give you some good um, choices for swimsuits because I plus size swimsuits are not what they used to be, you guys. They're not just swim dresses. There are some really great options and some really great options for bikinis. So the last cruises that I've been on, I've actually worn a bikini. And basically, I get like the high top bottoms and a top. But um, there's other options besides bikinis. So most of you are probably familiar with swimsuitsforall.com. And actually, before I, before I do that, um, I know for sure Torrid, what they consider to be plus size is size 10 to size 30, I think. So even if you don't necessarily realize that you're plus size, that you would be considered plus size by retail, if you wear a size 10, you can shop at Torrid. Um, swimsuits for all, I think they have the same size measurements too, 10 to 30 or roughly within there. Um, I think that that's where Ashley Graham's collection can be found. She has her own swimsuit collection. And um, I have a few different swimsuits in my closet. Um, I have some swim dresses that have like these cute like bandeau tops that are kind of twisted that make a sweetheart neckline. And then it's fitted, and then the bottom of the swimsuit, like it's a swimsuit bottom, like I had to step into it, but it's got like a skirt. Um, so I have some of those. And those came from swimsuits for all, I think. 
And there's one other place that I've gotten swimsuits from that wasn't there, and I'm going to have to do some research to find what that was. But swimsuitsforall.com. Where I've gotten the swimsuits that I love the most are from monifc.com. That's M as in Mary, O, N as in Nancy, I, F as in Frank, C like cat. So monifc.com. She has some of the coolest patterns and cuts of swimsuits where like you see that swimsuit and you're like, if I wore that, like I would be the shit. Um, I've worn some Monique C pieces on some cruises. I like where like I had like a one piece that was like it had cutouts in it. And it was like a really like I felt sexy in it and it was great. I also have a cover up from there that's like a like a long kind of floor length, like kind of semi see-through cover up that has like a diamond pattern on it that I got. And that matter of fact, hold on guys. Ugh, let me see if I can get up off this really hard chair. My butt fell asleep. Hold on. I'm going to grab that cover up so you guys can see it. And I'm back. So this is the cover up. Let's see if I can get it. So what's cool about this one is already not inside out. It's like it's floor length, you guys. It's really long. Um, and it has sleeves that are kind of like three quarter length. So if I want my arms covered, sometimes I don't really like my arms. Sometimes I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, Sorry. Sometimes I'm like, screw it. <laughs> and I'm like, my arms are my arms. Um, and let them hang out. But sometimes I don't want them to be out. But what's cool, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but like it's kind of semi-sheer. But it has this pattern all over it. And it's just really, really pretty. And it, it feels really good. This cover-up, I think regular price is probably about $98. But again, you can usually find sales. I did not pay $98 for this cover up. So I got it on a good sale. Um, Jessica, is it better to fly home on the cruise on the day the cruise gets back or to take a day off at home to recover? I usually, in the past, I've just like flown home or driven home the day like the cruise departs because by that point, like I'm so exhausted. Like in my mind, and even when I first bought the ticket for this year's cruise, I was like, I'm going to hit Miami and I'm going to like really do it up. The reality hit in, set in and I remember what it was like, the other cruises that I've taken. And you're, I just, speaking personally, I'm so exhausted after the cruise because you really haven't really slept and just been, the adrenaline has just been too high. And then like by the end of the cruise, like if, if you've watched the boys leave or like by the time you get down to the you know deck, you, like, you know the boys are gone. There's just a sense that they're gone. And then also in the atrium, usually like when the cruise starts, there are these big like banners with the boys on them. Disembarkation day, debarkation day, when everyone's leaving, Carnival is getting ready for the next cruise that's going to be using that ship. And they start taking the decorations down. Like those banners are pretty much probably gone or they're, they're in the process of being taken down. And it's kind of like, okay, like you start to crash a little bit. Like your backstreet withdrawal hasn't necessarily set in at that point. Um, you're just tired. I know myself, I just want to go to the airport, get on the plane and go home and get in my bed. And I, I usually need a day or two to recover because again, like adrenaline was so high, I really didn't rest. I was just going, 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 literally until three or four o'clock in the morning on the last night of the cruise, slept for a couple of hours, got up, got out off the cruise, and then I had a day of travel. And depending on what that's gonna be like for you, you're gonna wanna just go home. Um, but yeah.
but do what works for you. If you want to hang out in Miami for a little bit after the cruise, that's entirely up to you. But I am going home. Um, but yeah, this is that swimsuit I was talking about that had the um, the cutouts in it. I don't know how to hold it so you guys can see the cutouts. But they're like here. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, there's you can go through pictures. I have a picture of me like I took like with the camera that you could see so you could see what it looked like on me. And the way that it that it's cut. And the way that it fits, the way that it pulls everything together and pushes things up that need to be pushed up, you feel sexy in this. And this this is a Monique C swimsuit. Hi, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'll give you attention later. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, Monique C. That's my favorite place to get swimsuits from. And I they're they're just plus size swimsuits. Another thing I love about them is their models are bigger than the models that Torb uses. So, um, I don't know. I think that if you're going to represent plus size fashion, I think that it's important that you don't just use models that are all one size. And I like that Monique C is like, I like to use models that like look like what a lot of my customers actually look like, as opposed to like plus size ish, you know, they're actually plus sized. So I hope that helps for places to go for swimsuits. And I'll include the links to both of those places that I mentioned. Um, and I'll try to remember the other places I've gotten swimsuits from and I'll try to include the link for that too once this video is saved.